So as you can see by the menu, today we're doing Haitian style keto spaghetti and hot dogs. So I am going to start off by using the spaghetti from the Great Low Carb Bread Company. You guys have seen me use the uh, elbow noodles and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to finish this spaghetti bag off. So this is the spaghetti that we have. It comes in clusters like this. I prefer them like this because you'll get like real spaghetti. I have some water boiling. Uh, we're going to drop it in there for about seven minutes until it's really soft. Now I'm using turkey hot dogs because you guys know I don't eat pork or beef. So we're going to use turkey hot dogs. Uh, we're going to fry up because me and my boyfriend are going to eat this. We're going to fry up four of them. Show you guys how I do that. So for Haitian style uh, spaghetti, we're going to use tomato paste. Now the ingredients on the tomato paste, guys, is high in carbs. So we're only going to use one tablespoon. Uh, two tablespoons is the, how many net carbs is that? Five plus that sugar so we're gonna have to cut this down a little bit but it's a serving size for two people so don't be too afraid and we're also gonna water it down with some broth and some water so don't worry um, we're also gonna flavor profile it up with um, some cut up onions and some cut up peppers and obviously we're gonna add seasoning so I'm gonna show you guys all the steps and presentation and everything so here is our Haitian style keto spaghetti and hot dogs let's go <music> So the water is pretty much boiled. I'm just going to add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt to it. And then we're just going to drop the noodles in. Uh, hopefully it submerges. If not, I'll just add some more water to it. But we're just going to drop them in. Look at that. It looks like it's not a lot, but they'll kind of fluff out. And obviously if you're on keto, you want to do less of the carbs if you can. And here's some remaining little noodles. I'm just going to add some more water on top of it, guys, just because I want to make sure that it's all submerged and all cooks pretty equally. So I'm just going to add a little extra agua to it. And we're going to let it boil for about eight minutes, guys. So just let it boil up. And then we will be back. All right, guys. So here's the tomato paste that we're going to use. I'm just going to quickly open it. I want to show you guys a little trick that I usually do um, with tomato paste just to kind of make it last long. So when you initially open this product, you're going to have to put it in the fridge anyways. But my mom taught me that after you use it, and I'm, I said to you guys before, I'm going to use, it's two tablespoons for the serving of the carbohydrates that it already has in it, which is a lot. So I'm not even going to use that much. I'm only going to use one tablespoon. So we're going to use one tablespoon for this entire meal, which should be enough, guys. Don't, you see, I ain't really, just, you know, you know what I mean. So we're going to use this much, guys. And um, what I do is I just add some oil to it so it doesn't uh, you know get moldy so add some oil to it. my mom taught me that I don't know if that's a Haitian thing I don't know if anybody else does that but just to preserve it you just add some oil to it and then you close it and put it back in the fridge that was just a little trick guys. alrighty guys so this is what the noodles look like so far I'm gonna bring it let's see that you see that this is what the noodles look like so far guys let me come up close hope I can bring one up closer too so you see how it's separating like this, guys? The noodles are almost soft. So we're going to let them still sit in the water and boil it up. But you guys can see, look at that. Look at those freaking noodles. Close to spaghetti. So we just need them to soften up a little bit more, guys. And then once we're done, we're going to let that, we're going to drain them and just put some cold water on it and let them sit while we prepare the best part. All right, guys. So this is hot and ready. So we're gonna start off with some olive oil. I'm just joking. Olive oil. I'm gonna get it nice and drizzled in there. So um, before I start, I'm going to just tell you guys what I'm gonna put in. So we're gonna go in with garlic paste as the seasoning, dry seasoning, black pepper, pink Himalayan salt. We're gonna use some complete seasoning as well because I don't have any Maggie seasoning, and this is just 
that's close to it or you can use a, uh, adobo or whatever you have or sazon uh, and then I'm also going to go in with the cayenne pepper to make it a little bit more spicy because I like my food spicy so we're going to start off right now with the onions and peppers let's see if it's it's ready it's ready it's ready to go we gonna start off with this first guys and then we're going to get this crispy and then do the hot dogs the hot dogs, I like the hot dogs to be like crispy on one side but not burnt. So we're gonna do that first. And then, look at me drop it. All right guys, so we're just gonna mix this together. You guys can already see the onions are starting to get a little clear, not completely. But now we're gonna go ahead and add the hot dogs in. Like I said, I don't want the hot dogs to be too burnt. I just want them to have a nice crispy coat to them. Nothing cray cray. I'm going to actually lower the temperature down because I don't want the onions to cook all the way through. So we're just going to go ahead and let these fry up together. Alright guys, so we're going to let that cook and then we're going to start adding our seasoning. This Right now at this stage, you can see the hot dogs have a little bit of a crispiness to them. So that's how we want it. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and add the tomato paste. This is a tablespoon that I did show you guys before, but I don't even think I'm gonna use that much because it's not even that much, you know? So I'll probably just use, you know, that much of it. And then we're gonna go in with some garlic paste. And I did tell you guys, I don't have Maggie, so we're gonna use complete seasoning. If you have Maggie seasoning, I'm such a terrible, Islander, a Haitian, because I went to this grocery store yesterday and I didn't get Maggie seasoning, but if you have this complete seasoning or Sazon, whatever it is, adobo, it does the same effect, so don't worry. It's still going to have that little flavor. I'm not going to put the pink Himalayan salt just because the complete seasoning has it, but we're going to go ahead and put some cayenne pepper because we want it to be nice and spicy. So you guys see the tomato paste in there, so what I'm going to do is add a little chicken broth. And then we're gonna drop the noodles in, and then we're almost ready. A little bit of chicken broth in it. So all, so everything doesn't like lose. It's, it doesn't get too dry. I mean, so I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth to it, and we're gonna re-move all this stuff together, get it nice. And I'm gonna actually lower this down, guys, and then we're gonna add the noodles on top. Haitian style keto spaghetti and hot dogs. Now I call it Haitian style because this is the way we would make it. Now don't act like when you and your parents didn't have nothing to cook, they didn't go ahead and throw up a hot dog and spaghetti dish for you when you were younger as a kid. So it's not only Haitian people, island people. I know a lot of island people do it too. And even if you're not island, I know you've experienced this goodness. So basically it's just amplified with a little bit of extra seasoning, onions and peppers and stuff like that, um, and Maggie and a little bit of tomato paste. So I did show you guys all the ingredients that I use for it. So let me show you guys close up what it looks like. So this is what it looks like guys. Hopefully it focuses in because that's always an issue. So here goes the hot dog and spaghetti. So the spaghetti actually looks pretty real guys. Like look at the spaghetti, like come on. Very close, I cooked it for about like nine minutes. Um, and it's pretty nice and soft, just like spaghetti. And here goes the hot dogs. Like I said, I use turkey hot dogs because I don't eat pork or beef, so it works just fine. A little bit of onions and peppers, and then you get a little bit of that color, not, well, not a little bit of color, all the color from the tomato paste, and it was just enough tomato paste to keep it within the low carb range. So, 
Let me go ahead and try it for you guys so I can tell you guys exactly how I think or how I feel. <laughs> so we're going to grab just hot dog and everything together. And I did make the hot dogs pretty crispy, so that's not bad. I kid you fucking not. This tastes exactly like what my mama made. Now what really sets this off and brings it so close to the Haitian style, the onions and peppers and then that cayenne pepper that I put in it. Oh my God. Now the noodles, they taste very close to regular spaghetti noodles. It's kind of crazy. I do feel like I should have softened it a little bit more, but one thing with these noodles is you don't want to do it too soft because then they'll start breaking into pieces so then it won't look like spaghetti but I think all in all flavor profile texture of the noodles itself are okay I'm telling you guys like this tastes so good like mm. Mm -mm -mm. very very close or uh, I can say this is the same thing as regular Haitian mac uh, spaghetti and, and hot dogs. It's just keto fried. So this, my friends, is going to be a yes. Bomb. Like, like bomb. I'm going to leave the links down below, guys, for the noodles that I use. It's not sponsored, but I love those noodles. It's been, like, the biggest help for my diet. Now with the noodles, they also have it on Amazon. You can get a sampler pack on Amazon. And Amazon, the noodles are actually cheaper than the website. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can definitely go ahead and um, buy these noodles off of Amazon. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. But let me tell you guys something. If you want a little bit of an easier keto life, mmm, uh, oh my god. Mm. Alright guys. So that basically wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this keto recipe. I'm telling y'all, this is legit official. Super delicious, flavorful, and all that kind of stuff. So guys, I'll leave all the information down below per usual. But do not forget, guys, to thumbs up this video. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe and share this video with your friends and family, people, and... I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.